Hi, I'm Dr. Vaibhav, uh, consultant pulmonologist. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most uh, global prevalent topics that is breathing and air pollution. Ambient air pollution is a major global health problem affecting both developed and developing countries. So according to the WHO world statistics, which is uh, carried out in around 1600 cities around 91 countries, the data suggests that uh, 9 out of 10 people living in urban conditions are suffering from uh, air pollution related lung issues. Exposure to air pollution is the ninth leading cause of mortality and uh, there are about uh, 3.2 million estimated deaths around the world because of air pollution. So before moving on to understanding how air pollution can affect the lungs, let us get a basic idea about what exactly are the pollutants in the air. The main pollutants in the air can be broadly classified as outdoor and indoor air pollutants. The outdoor air pollutants consist of particulate matter, the ozone, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen monoxide and lead. These are the most common outdoor air pollutants. Some of the indoor air pollutants are your common household cleaning uh, disinfectants, tobacco smoke, secondhand smoke, etc. Here I want to briefly stress about particulate matter because this is one of the leading causes of air pollution. Particulate matter is mainly formed by industrial process, processes, traffic related issues, it can be coal related or burning of uh, combustible fuels. These are the most common things together which cause particulate matter. Particulate matter is measured in terms of uh, uh, microns, the diameter in microns and the smaller the particulate matter it can enter into the extremities of your lungs. So now let's understand how breathing these uh, air pollutants can affect your lungs. Breathing in air pollutants can irritate the airways causing symptoms like shortness of breath or cough or wheeze or it can also be chest tightness. So who are at risk of uh, developing lung related conditions because of air pollution? So it is mainly the ones who have a long standing lung condition or a chronic lung condition like asthmatics, patients suffering from COPD or also it, most common people affected are uh, children or adolescent age group people. The development of the lungs uh, start from intrauterine that is when the baby is yet to be born up to almost 6 years of age where 80% of the lung development happens. During this phase any exposure to air pollutants can cause reduction in the lung capacity and also lead to further issues in lung related uh, compliance in adulthood. So now let's look at how to keep your lungs healthy. So some of the common points here are smoking prevention. Uh, avoid exposure to indoor and outdoor pollutants, uh, regular uh, health checkups, regular exercise and also infection prevention. Air pollution can uh, affect your respiratory tract in various uh, ways, so starting from your nose to the small airways in your lungs. The respiratory tract also has its own defense mechanism, the nose being the most, most common or the most prevalent defensive mechanism and going all the way into your lungs is your mucociliary reflex. So the mucociliary reflex mainly consists of mucus and fine hair like particles called cilia which uh, prevent or trap these air, part, air polluted particles from entering into your lungs. So exposure to air pollutants over a long period of time can damage these defense mechanisms uh, causing various respiratory conditions. Uh, keeping the above points in mind with regular exercise, smoking prevention and regular health checkups, you can keep your lungs healthy in this polluted world. So do consult your doctor if you have any of the respiratory symptoms, go for regular health checkups, you can get yourself evaluated or check your lung capacity by performing the lung function test or the spirometry and also regular medications in the form of inhalers at the right time can prevent further complications. So the good news is long term improvement in air quality can improve lung functions. So stay healthy, thank you.